Welcome to the Super Arcade Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's Super Arcade Show! Was that stupidly loud for everyone else, or was that just me? Was that, like, ridiculously loud? Yep, Sam, I can see you nodding in the green room. Jen, I think, yep, I can see you also nodding in the- That was stupid loud. Uh, I'm so sorry, everyone on the stream. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, but thank you for joining us. Hello, welcome to the new-ish look for the Super Arcade Show. I'm at home, I'm not in the studio, uh, I didn't manage to make it into, <laughs> into work today. But we're, we're going to keep going, we're going to do this, we're going to keep going as it was. I'm joined this week um, by the lovely Sam, I'm going to bring Sam in now actually. Uh, where's that Sam? <laughs> Hello Sam, there he is. Welcome in sir, how are you? Uh, greetings from the deep blue sea, it is Sam, here to hang out with you and me. Um, no, hey howdy, hi, how's it going everybody, I'm Sam. Yeah. Your friendly neighborhood arcade assistant back alive once again um you saw me yesterday if you joined us for wrestling chat uh if you were at the weekend i was dead um but i'm back again and excited for this new format this new show uh everything's changed except for our faces sort of yeah i was gonna shave but i decided nah 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 i'm okay oh i just may have thought maybe doing a nick cage again nah i don't know nah. there's 33 percent new face there is, there is. Who, who have we got this week for us, Sam? Who's our guest presenter on the Super Arcade Show this week? Our guest presenter is a stand-up comedian, a Twitch supernova, and a YouTube extraordinaire. It is back once again with the Genegade Master. Hello and welcome. Hey. Hello. I was going to tell Sam off for stealing my patter when he said he was back <laughs> once again. That's not on. That's not okay. <laughs> That's, uh, that's okay. It's just, I may just, have, uh, it may have gone in through osmosis somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just absorbed. I was like... hey, high, but I panicked. Because <laughs> 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 it's being brought out of a green room. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Um, I'm enjoying it though. It's really good fun. This 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 new this new. Um, I like it. Way it's shiny. Things. It's very good. It's very good. Jen, thank you for videos. joining us. Thank it's you for. Okay. Thank I'm you genuinely for chuffed you asked. I was like, Ge I love Gen it. Genuinely? Did you genuinely? Just and maybe. <laughs> Tiny pun, sorry. <laughs> Genuinely with a G. Thank you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, woo, says Navarro. Thank you, Navarro. Hello in the chat. Woo. I am actually melting. I forgot. To, I, I closed my veranda door because I thought, ah, I'll be all right. Sam then started talking about melting and I am also now swelteringly hot. I've got my tiny fan on. Oh, you got a tiny Oh, wait. Neck fan. No, neck not fan. Neck fan. <laughs> neck fan. Neck fan, is neck fan for the win. There we go. Neck fan is on. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Now I've got a Does cold that happen brew. to be available in the arcade shop by any chance? No, unfortunately not. Thank mm. you for the plug, though, Jim. Okay. Thank you very much. I tried. Um, I tried, man. We'll get Look at me. And put arcade stickers on the side. I believe our um, Streamlabs stuff should still work. Yes! Booyah! Love it. Mm. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you very much. I was Streamlabs. under the impression that mm. um, as part of our intro, we would uh, see how we were all doing, because that's what we used to in the arcade show. And I've just double checked the details, and you no longer care about how our week's gone. <laughs> so, uh, I, want, I, I had a bit that I was going to do, so I'm going to do it. I'm coming in hot this morning. Go for it. Okay. Hot. okay. Go for it. I'm coming hot. Because I'm angry. Because if you don't know, Jen not only does all these amazing comedic things on the interwebs, uh, she's also got more into TikTok lately. Mm. And her most recent TikTok has riled Indeed. me up and I'm pissed. Oh, oh no, no. I, I watched no. it as well. I watched oh, it no. too. I watched They're it good. too. They're so good. I went to Tesco and bought three boxes out of anger. <laughs> They're not good. They are they're like good. they were a bad chaffer and they're a bad donut, and I stand by that. I was on this hype train before the ads came on. <laughs> the Damn, right? They don't even keep them with the donuts because they're not fresh enough. They keep them on the <laughs> shelf with the jaffers. They're listed as Jaffa cake biscuit donuts, so I don't uh, know, which is three different things in one. But um, you know, you they're do. A bad donut. They're a bad donut. Don't listen to I, it. Like Do tiny, you know tiny slither what? of orange, right? Jelly, Jen. the orange jelly. Oh, it's the though. tiniest little yeah. bit of jelly. If you're not, Jen. bite into oh. it, right? And it's just like this tiny little <laughs> pinhole of jelly. On her amazing podcast, No Straight Answers, <clears throat> advocates for making sure that you educate yourselves and have your own opinion. It does. So I'd yeah. say don't listen. 
about them being Form me your own opinion. Go and try one for yourself and get back to me, and then when we agree, we can be friends. And then oh. come and tell me that you think they're a little bit dry. Oh. <laughs> I love the fact that you're haranguing Jen, even though she's going to move up to Glasgow, and you're know, just, right? you've just lost a new friend. That's all you've you done. Haranguing. I did three things <laughs> in one year. I don't know what. That's fair. That is fair. That I like that fair. you said lost a new friend, and I immediately went to <laughs> violence. I do. <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's the Glaswegian way. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. I'm not from Glasgow. I'm here, this is true. Actually, neither neither Sam nor I are from Glasgow. Ironically, mm. uh, we're from outside of Glasgow. But there you go. Um, but I've, I have lived here most of my life as well. So, you know, Greg, why are you refereeing? Greg, you're. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Let him referee. <laughs> Right, um, this is the new Super Arcade Show. Uh, each week uh, we'll be joined by a special guest. This week it's the, the lovely Jenny Good Master. Um, um, but we're still going to do um, what we usually do on the show, and that is uh, report the latest gaming news. Uh, so I'm just going to jump straight into it, um, because we, I'm very, very aware that I've packed a lot more into the show than I think we have time for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in for an all-nighter, Drew. Let's go. <laughs> I've got podcast room to set up i don't know this is true this is true <laughs> sam has sam has other things places to be things to do people to i'll plug to, that really the podcast quickly, actually, um before we yeah go for it go for it man um i've given plug star guests enough i need to do one for us um we're doing a q and a uh video podcast for the arcade glasgow patron this sun uh this coming monday it will be coming out but we're recording it tomorrow so if you have any questions for myself for lewis or for nadia Hit us with them in our Discord, on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook, here, there, and everywhere. Beautiful, beautiful, very nice. Now we're going to talk about games. Now we're going to talk about games. Um, I'm, I'm, I've, I've not fixed all my titles or all my, my, my video intros and stuff yet. I'm still to sort of integrate them into the show. So, um, we will, we will, it will get flashier as the weeks go on. I promise. <laughs> uh, but for now, we're going to just keep it nice and simple. So, I'm just going to move on to the first um, story that I've got for you guys tonight, which is. Um, PlayStation, actually, funnily enough. PlayStation is the uh, the big news coming out. Tonight is the PlayStation Showcase um, from 9pm uh, British Standard Time. Um, it will be the, the PlayStation Showcase live online on YouTube, Twitch, etc. Um, but there's, there's still no word as to what is going to be part of the PlayStation Showcase. So uh, the rumours are that we're going to get some new stuff on God of War Ragnarok. Um, I've totally forgotten the rest of the stuff that I wrote down. <laughs> 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 well prepared, Andrew. I just need to open this link. There we go. Uh, so God of War Ragnarok is top of the list. Um, Herid- uh, sorry, Horizon Forbidden West, of Horizon. course, is due for... Horizon, yeah. Um, <laughs> Horizon Forbidden West is due out um, next year, so there's probably going to be a wee bit on that. Uh, Gran Turismo 7 is rumoured, um, and there's um, Elden Ring, I think, is the other one, the other big one, um, as well as probably something about um, Norman Reedus and his tiny fetus. Um, I think that that's getting a PS5 release, the director's oh, cut. I thought, you, I thought we were still doing this. No, it's Norman Reed. It's Death Stranding uh, director's cut. It's going to be released very soon on PlayStation Five. So, um, I'm I'm willing to bet those are are definites. Um, mm. But I I was I was I stupidly thought that the showcase was at one p.m. But that was U.S. time, and I was like, yes, we'll have lots of stuff to talk about with the PlayStation showcase. Woo! Um, <laughs> only to realise that it's actually not happening for another two hours. So well done, Andrew. Can we speculate right though? It'll be like we're really like like psychic. Or tours. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I think guess. Monster Lab Two. <laughs> Sam thinks Monster <laughs> Lab Two. Finally, that remaster you've been well, waiting for, Sam. Actually, a remaster would be great, please. A remaster of Monster Lab from it was PS2, wasn't it? Monster yeah, Lab. Whoever made the game. If you know, <laughs> maybe I'll start playing games again if you can do that. I reckon Doug Bowser has had enough of people making fun of him working for Nintendo, so he's going to switch and he's going to start oh, he's working gonna for, work Sony. for Sony. Oh, he's going to appear. Is it? It's going to be a big debut. Oh. <laughs> He's just going to turn up. He comes out. In Bowser <laughs> cosplay, just to sell it. Takes off the head and it's like, who's in the Bowser suit? Who's in the Bowser, Bowser suit? It's, it's Bowser! <laughs> He then pulls off his Bowser head and it's actually Keanu Reeves again. <laughs> uh, it's always Keanu. <laughs> it's every time, man. Every time. Every time. As a, side, as a small tangent, have you seen all the stuff with Matrix 4? 
Um, the trailer came out today. Excited. I'm very excited. Um, I haven't seen the main trailer. I've seen. <gasps> have you seen the like special website where it's like you yes. can choose the red pill or the blue pill? Yes. I've done that, and that's it's amazing. So good, and it changes the time depending on when you're depending doing it. Depending on as well. when you watch it. It's, it's like, oh so my God. good. So it's like good. magic. People so are upset good. about Lord Fishburn not being. Uh, a wee bit. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. No, is that the right name for the character? <laughs> That is a right name. Yeah, Lawrence okay. Fishburne was Morpheus, yes, correct. It's just, just the Morpheus way Drew started. said it. He was like, yeah, uh, yeah. Was they're a I bit angry. It's the internet. I said Morpheus, which is the vampire from the Marvel comic. <laughs> <laughs> who's going to be played... It, I'll watch. Well, he's, he's going to be played by Jared Leto in the new Marvel movie as well, mm. is it not? So, yeah, that's that's we're not <laughs> looking forward to that. Anyway, <laughs> that was a tangent. That's the only... That's the one of only Exciting 50, though, 50 <clears throat> tangents. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, the big news from PlayStation, though, through the week was that um, Horizon Forbidden West, which is due out next year, um, there, was, there was a bit of contention, or Sony were in a bit of trouble, a bit of hot water, because um, at first, when they announced it, the only the deluxe version of the game um, was going to get a free upgrade to the PlayStation 5. If you bought the sorry, if you bought the PS4 version, you're only getting a free upgrade to PS5 if you bought the deluxe version, uh, which Twitter naughty, was naughty. not very happy. No, about. no. <laughs> um, and so Sony went, oh, backtrack, quick! Okay. You can you can, <laughs> you can you can have sorry. you can have it on any version. It's okay. Don't worry. Just take just buy any of them on the PS4, and you'll get it on PS5 upgrade. Buy a PS3 free. version will upgrade. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> which which. What are it's people which, upset about that? Is that well, like one of the benefits of having purchased the deluxe version at a higher price? Is that you get to carry it over? It's not the first game, so um, Mar Miles Morales is the first one that pops into my head. That if you bought the PS4 version, you would get the PS5 version for free, just as, once right. you got the new console. And so it's kind of set a bar, set a standard, which then Sony have went, mm, not going to do mm. it with Horizon. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but they have backtracked and they have said now that no matter what version um, you get on PS4, you will get the PS5 version for, for free. It's also is... a bit harsh when you can't actually get a PS5 right now. Yeah, <laughs> so... I know, right? I mean, a lot of people complain and, and they're like, oh, but I want the PS5 version for it... nothing. Do you have a PS5? No. No. I also want a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> Please also send me a PS5. Thank you. Um, um, thanks it. PS2. Is that... Is that... <laughs> <laughs> But my question for you guys is like, when do when does Sony sort of stop? They uh, put a full stop on it and go, right, okay, we're not going to do any more free upgrades. You have to either buy mm. this one or this one. There's going to have to be a point where they just sort of go, mm -mm. yeah, you, you know what, what, what? So there it is. I don't it's, know why they're doing it in the first place. Is it just is this just because they don't have backwards compatibility built in? Uh, it builds value, I guess, to a mm. console you can't get a hold of, um, <laughs> which is ironic. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean the, the 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 crossover between these this generation between even the Xbox One and the Xbox Series series um, the crossover is a uh, is it's blurred more than ever. So mm. there's not that definitive jump from one to the other, which is interesting. Yeah. Sam could do it being a bit a bit louder. I can do that. How's this? Oh, there you go, Sam. Just mm -hmm. yeah, that that helps too. Hello. <laughs> Anyway, I think there's going to come a point where um, Sony Sony make this games, or sorry, developers make games, and it only gets released on one console or the other. So yeah. it doesn't get released on PS4 anymore, and therefore you don't have that issue. So mm -hmm. I think that's probably the crossover point. But I mean, we're not probably not going to see that until next Christmas, like 2022. Yeah. Um, and hopefully there will then be, you know, stock of the consoles at that point. I think. But I think for then, me that's probably the biggest issue is because the PS5 isn't embedded as the main console yet. It's still the exactly. PS4 as much as they would like it to be PS5. Most people have still got PS4. Like I haven't got a PS5 yet. Um, well, eventually, but it's like until that becomes the main console, you show off. <laughs> until that becomes the main console and games of like that becomes the main thing to go on. <laughs> Then and what when, can you do? Then what can you do? I know Sony yeah. are kind of tied into to giving people backwards. And they need to sell games. And they're not, if if nobody's got a PS5, they're going to have to buy it on the PS4. So they'll have to release it for PS4. Well, this brings me on to my next question, which is um, the pricing of games has gone up with this generation. I mean, the base mm -hmm. the base cost of a game is sixty nine ninety nine now for um, a brand new title, which is madness. Um, it's insane. I was talking about this on stream last night, and it was uh, I think it's Destruction All Stars was initially released at £70 
and then they couldn't sell it so they gave it away free on PlayStation Plus and then after two months they reduced it to £20 for people that didn't have it already. I'm like, how can you go from three months ago, 70 quid, down to yeah. 20 quid? It's mad! Um, but then they're not, they don't have the consoles to sell so I suppose mm. the things will evolve with time. But, um, but well I also done. think my well problem with the £70 price point, because this really is a bugbear for me, is it's like, they keep going on the thing is, it costs more to make games these days. It's like, hey, <laughs> no it doesn't, it costs less. <laughs> and you're also, like, getting everyone's money through loot boxes and, like, you microtransactions and all this. And, yeah, exactly. You're getting more money out of us, so don't tell me it costs 70 quid to buy a game now. Because it 70 doesn't. Pound, 70 pound base, and then you're, like, yeah, 20, 30 extras. quid on top, you know? It's, it's Easy. absolute madness, absolute madness. But... Um, I th I'm glad Sony saw the error of their ways and they didn't stick to the guns <laughs> and they're giving away um, the free version or the free upgrade for the PS5 version of Horizon coming next they're year. They're quite so. good about backing down, I think. I mean, uh, most They've companies like are. As soon as as soon as Twitter the Twitterverse goes a bit, <laughs> then all the companies are like, okay, okay, I'm sorry. okay. And then Wendy's comes in and makes a cool <laughs> comment, and it's like, well done, Wendy's, well done. Do you ever well listen done. to the Wendy's uh, mixtape? <laughs> no. No. They made a four track, 10 minute long EP where they had a, a rapper come on and take up the mantle as the titular Wendy and throw shade at McDonald's, etc. <laughs> Talk about their frozen burgers and whatnot. It was great. Really, it's a, a, my friend maybe watched that Anthony Fantano review. He was not a fan. I am a big fan. Five for five. <laughs> Go check out that song. <laughs> it's called We Beefin' at Wendy's. So, go check, we go check it out. Hot, hot track of the summer. <laughs> um, perfect. Well, let's let's move on from from Wendy <laughs> and uh, to another uh, large conglomerate. Uh, Sam, you brought this news to me actually. I I've, I've, I have shoehorned it in um, very I? badly. Um, but this is the uh, this is the news that um, a Canadian um, store has it's actually a game that was released a couple of years ago a few years ago um and it's called isles of glory and i'll I didn't honest, turn the Andrew, volume down on that again i didn't read the article i said did you not because i sent it to you and then went oh you've already got news so I, it's I didn't okay reading it properly. it's okay this it's is isles honest. isles of glory um which is uh released by the canadian supermarket no frills oh i forgot to put it on repeat that would help still getting used to this new thing uh isles of glory legends of the hall um, and basically, it's like a side-scrolling, running, infinite running game, um, where you're uh, you play a, a supermarket um, employee or a customer, and you're running through trying to collect no frills goods and trying to avoid all the fancy stuff like towers of champagne glasses and li limousines and uh, gold <laughs> statues and all this kind of stuff. Um, but the reason it's back in the news is because Isles, uh, sorry, uh, no frills released a very special banana um, peripheral um, and gave it to a load of Twitch and TikTok influencers to uh, <laughs> to show it off. And it's basically you play the game using three bananas connected to your computer. Um, one, one, one button is one bananas up, the other bananas down, and then the other, ban other third banana is spacebar, which is now, jump. While these aren't real bananas, they're just false You'd bananas. hope not. You can it's a very short a shelf life. You can do this with bananas if you, you can. them up electronically, <laughs> right? You can, can you do that with like there's almost anything if you can pass electrical current? Yeah, you, you can, can put the electrical current in. But it would yeah. require you to punch the banana into mush <laughs> every time you want to do something, so you'd have to replace it very quickly. <laughs> Um, so Isles of Glory, um, as I say, is an infinite running game. You can play it at any time you like. Uh, I've forgotten the URL for it now, but if you do a quick Google, you'll find it. Um, and you can earn points for a computer co company called PC Optimize just by playing the game. And then you can save up those points and it gives you discounts off of their, their company as well. So hmm. it's absolutely mad. Give it a cool. go. It's, I've played it for about five minutes. It's really good fun. Do you have a um, question attached to this story? I don't. I just it was just amazing, and I wanted I to talk about cool. it. It's just cool. He's he's just show and tell day. He was just what? like, come look at the cool thing I found. Do you have a question, what, Sam? Yeah. What high street company would you like to see bring out a game, and why is it Poundlands Pound for Pound uh, beat him up? <laughs> Sam, we all know that it's B and M, mate. We all know that. Oh, oh B and M. Obviously. Would be great. Oh, that'd be game? great. Uh, how much can you buy for? 20 quid in oh. B&M and it's half the store. You should do like a supermarket sweep. 
Lots yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> None of them, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't return those. That's, that's, that's fine. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's still not me. Um, oh, oh no, I keep pressing all the wrong We're buttons. Back. I'm still oh. used to this. Sorry, sorry. A lot, I, mean. <laughs> <laughs> I forget how all this works. Oh man. Anyway, Isles of Glory, go give it a go. Um, it's worth about ten minutes of your time. You can't redeem anything on it. It shows you discounts on what they've got in store, but it's a Canadian store, so good luck with that, unless you're in Canada. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you're from Canada, um, What's the, there's a Canadian. Like, <laughs> The not the name it's called the name brand, and it's like um, financially like available food, like just tin what? food, like things that you would get that are like from Poundland, right? But the name of the company is the name brand, so all their packaging is just white with the phrase the name brand, and then the description of the item that you're buying. <laughs> <laughs> you lost that me. Is fun. You it just feels like Tesco no frills. Yeah, yes, but, but it's all in white packaging and it's called the uh, name brand. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sam, are you okay? I've had a lot of rain. Okay. Also, this is your first experience with me, so... This is yeah. true. This is true. Uh, right, moving on to our next piece. Um, I don't know about... I, think I might just skip this one because it's very depressing and I don't know if I want <laughs> to talk about it. <laughs> Um, we'll quickly go into it and, and talk about how, how this person is a horrible, horrible person and we're glad that uh, they're, they're, they're gone. Uh, the news came out that uh, Tripwire Interactive, um, their CEO stepped down uh, after a Twitter backlash because he tweeted out um, that he supported the, uh, let me just get this right, he supported the US Senate's decision not to stop the Texas abortion law change. Just making sure I got that out So Texas... The state of Texas basically um, changed their laws so that um, abortions were illegal um, and the CEO of this uh, developer, the developer of um, Man Eater, ironically, the uh, the shark game, um, came out and said, yeah, I support their decision not to not to do this. Uh, sorry, I support the decision to allow that to happen in the most third party way ever. Um, and my question to you guys is, like, should... Um, should like companies like this have a political view or like a um, sort of their should they post their sort of views on social media of, of sort of social um, things think that are happening you know this is very apropos given I spent my afternoon listening to the No Straight Answers podcast by <laughs> Jenny Master <laughs> and in episode one there is a conversation exactly about this about there, there is. <laughs> about the idea of um, should people be cancel cultured not necessarily but you know that idea out of employment if it's something that they do outside of their time in employment mm. i think the answer you guys came up with is yes if it negatively impacts the employer and when you're the ceo yeah. of a company and likely this person's social media is covered yeah. in promotion materials for that company um it's it's definitely a bad look for the company yeah. also in in line with your being very clear about what all the stuff is the law that is being introduced is that you can get um, into trouble if you're found supporting someone going to get an abortion. Right. So there's not like, Thank you. they've not like got rid of the already very few clinics there are. It's just things like if you're an Uber driver and you give someone a lift to a clinic, you can get in trouble for doing that, even yeah. though you're mm. just doing your job. So um, Lyft had to come out and basically be like, we have set up a fund to pay for the fines for any drivers who get fined for this. And other it's people mental. went, Lyft is still a bad company, but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've done one good thing. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's... Jen, what, what are your thoughts now, <laughs> months after that episode <laughs> of your show? I just point. Similar, I think. I think the problem with him is he's the CEO. This isn't just some little some tiny drone no, no. at the bottom or whatever this that has head. no influence. It's yeah. like literally the entire company is meant to be run by this guy. And he is he's outright making a statement on behalf of that company by saying that. And at that point, he's dragged that company into saying, right, well, this is what we believe. And if the company doesn't believe that, then their position isn't tenable. They have to get rid of him, surely. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's easier for me if I'm talking about something in, as as a representative of arcades. Then I'm talking for five people, mm. uh, and I and I ask those five people for their point of view, and we all come to a decision together. Whereas yeah. if you're you can't just go on as as a, <laughs> Sam's like, I've never been asked anything. What are you? <laughs> what what my opinion that matters? No, sorry. Uh, <laughs> 
but don't know if you are if you are a CEO of a huge multi million dollar company like Tripwire, mm-hmm. um, you have to tread lightly, and you have to. You know, think about the rest of the uh, the rest of employees you have. The actual official statement, though, that came out of Tripwire now is this, and it's uh, the comments given by John Gibson, the former CEO, are of his own opinion and do not reflect those of Tripwire Interactive as a company. His comments disregarded the values of the whole team, our partners, and our much broader community. Um, our leadership team at Tripwire are deeply sorry and are unified in our commitment to take swift action and to foster a more positive environment. So there you go. It goes on from there, but um, yeah, I mean, he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have. He just shouldn't yeah. have done that. Full stop. Um, because that's a personal opinion, mm. and and a company is is a multifaceted thing, um, and you need to take that into account when you are representing that company, um, yeah. which is very difficult to do. Because sometimes I get very heated about things and want to say something online, and I'm like, bah, that's my opinion, and maybe I shouldn't." Yeah, um, and it's 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 tough. It's tough. It's that balance, isn't it? I think all of us go through that. Like there is stuff that I'm legally not allowed to say online because of my job, and there is stuff I get really hit up about, but I never say it. Instead, I just rant in my own head. <laughs> it's fine. I don't have to have a public opinion. Well, I'm bad at Twitter. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel the need to give an opinion on everything and by the I'm time tra- I've mm. formed my opinion everyone no, but that's good at Twitter hate. bad at Twitter is saying everything that comes to your head <laughs> Just every, every be, single thought yeah. you're right but I can't get followers <laughs> <laughs> See, what will happen though is if you put all your thoughts on Twitter, and this inevitably will happen, five years down the line when you're going for a job or if you mm-hmm. su- su- suddenly get successful in any kind of way, they go troll back through your internet history and they find that and then they, they then it's yeah. all over the press and it's against you. So. I think it's great you've said that phrase given my lock screen is just the phrase, will it matter in five years? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on uh, to something a bit more wholesome, a bit more lovely than that douchebag um, that's <coughs> gone now. Uh, Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl. Have you guys heard of this game? Do you know about this? It's existent? I'm here no, of it now. I'm excited by the title alone. So this was announced, I think it was June, July last year. Um, and basically it is... Um, how do I put this? Lightly without Nintendo it's getting Smash angry. Bros. It's Smash Bros. It's Smash, it's Smash Bros. Bros. Yeah. Nintendo characters. <laughs> I mean, Done. it even has the word brawl in the <laughs> title, <laughs> which I'm like, guys, guys, guys. So Nintendo All Stars Brawl uh, mm-hmm. is due for release in October. That's the it's it's supposed to be fall 2021, but the uh, the um, the uh, 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 the leak was that it's going to be October, October 5th, I think. Um, so this is if I got if I clicked on the right video, this is the the new this is the trailer. Sorry for the game. And basically, it takes a lot of um, Nickelodeon um, characters, uh, including Turtles. Uh, who have we got? Um, SpongeBob. You've got. I can read um, the list that you've got here, Andy. If you yes, want. indeed. Go for you've it. Got SpongeBob conf- SquarePants and Patrick Starr, as well as Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob SquarePants, Leonardo and Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, accompanied by April O'Neil. Oblina from Ah Real Monsters, the oh, Ring from the Legend of Aang, and Korra from the Legend of Korra, Cat Dog from Cat Dog, Danny Phantom of Danny Phantom, Helga Pataki of Hey Arnold, Zim from Invader Zim, Lincoln Loud from the Loud House, and Lucy Loud from the Loud House, Reptar from Rugrats, Nigel Thornbury from Wild Thornbury, <laughs> as well as Ren, Stimpy, and Powdered Toast Man yes. from the Ren. <laughs> So I don't know anything about Powdered Toast Man. Really? How can you not? <laughs> Again, Where have you first, been? This is your first experience with me. I am very young. Uh, I am obscenely young. So I didn't see Red and Stimpy. So my initial reaction to this is, why do you have Helga, but not Arnold, but you've made room for Powdered Toast Man? <laughs> <laughs> How did Remember, Toast Man over Arnold? I'm saying it now. This Sorry. is the this is the initial 20 that have been announced. So there will be more characters <laughs> added. Um, I think the one that people are most excited for is the fact that um, the Avatar franchise is owned by Nickelodeon. So you're going to get Avatar. Ooh. You're going to get uh, sorry. You're going to Ang. You're going to get Korra from they're Avatar all, as all well. They're 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 list. probably going to be confirmed. But they're part of the list that you've given. Are they all they on the list? Yeah, uh, I sorry. said it a minute ago. That was uh, this must be the updated list. I apologize. I did copy and paste from somewhere. I forgot <laughs> where it was. Maybe this is a lie. <laughs> so my question is, which which are you going to mean? Who's going to be your main character from from the the current roster? Easy, Oblina. 
It's the second you said Oblina, I was like, I'm in. I'm buying this game. I don't care. I don't care what else happens. Aria Monsters in it. I'm done. (laughs) Nice, nice. Sam? Um, The show here that's my favourite and um, one that deserves more respect on its name uh, Danny Phantom. I knew it was going to be Danny. Okay. I was going to guess. Um, I was gonna, it has to be Danny I'm Phantom. I'm talking about it? characters that need to be added. I would like the older sister from the Wild Thornberries. Uh, I, <laughs> I love that Nigel's in it. The older sister? Just... <laughs> yeah. What's her He's... name, Sam? I don't know. I've not seen this <laughs> film in a while. <laughs> Nigel Thornberry is the only Thornberry whose name I know. Nah. Yes. <laughs> nah. Exactly because he is an internet icon. Um, yeah, He's Danny a god. Phantom. The man's a god. The man is a god. I bet Reptar's pretty cool in that. Oh, though. Reptar would be like a heavy, slow, like fighter though. He's He'd be a like Wario. a Bowser. A Wario or a Bowser? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. He Actually, you rip off Reptar's Bowser. head. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. You rip off his head, and there's Doug Bowser in shape. Doug Bowser's in it. Um, actually, it, like watching the basically the new vid, the new content that got released uh, today, well overnight, um, shows the fighting system and the amount of polish that's been put onto the game. And I am very, as as much as it's just a Smash clone, I am very excited by this because I think it's mm. going to be fantastic. Um, I'd like to point out Candy Keen's joke that mm-hmm. uh, Nigel Thornberry would be a Super Smash. Super <laughs> Smashing, <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> 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 So yeah, that's um, that's due for release October. Um, it'll be on PC, uh, PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five, Xbox One, Xbox Series, uh, and Switch as well. So you can pick it up. I was on gonna say, menu. is it on Switch? Because that it seems like it it, that's, that's fronting up for a fight, isn't it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Um, <laughs> cannot wait, cannot wait. Okay, um, moving on to our final piece because I'm very aware we've ran over a little. Nah. Um, nah, fine. We'll cut it out of something else. <laughs> um, did you guys see the news? Did you guys see that? Um, I can supposedly, see it here on the you can see it here on the thing that I've given you. Yeah, and the thing that you sent me. Yeah, sure. Shh, there's no, no. I didn't prepare for this at all. This is totally off the top of my head. Um, Games Master, the TV show, um, is supposedly or reportedly getting a reboot. Uh, this was this was reported months and months ago. Uh, however, there was um, a, a tweet that went out from a production company um, that didn't mention Games Master at all. Mm. But it did sound a lot like Games Master. And I think it's the company that um, we're advertising are the parent company of the magazine company that own Games Master as a brand. So okay. it's very highly, highly likely that this is what it's for. But this was the, the tweet that went out. It just says, do you love video games? Would you like uh, to take on a gaming challenge on a TV show? <laughs> that sounds great already. <laughs> I know, right? We're looking for gamers who are up for showcasing their skills on a huge landmark video game TV series for a major UK broadcaster. I wonder what it could be. Uh, <laughs> huge landmark I mean that's that's making a statement isn't it it is it is um, it says whether your favourite game is retro or the latest AAA or whether you're a seasoned pro or a total noob then we want to hear from you you don't spell noob like that do you no I spell it with two O's bro <laughs> <laughs> you're the noob for spelling you're it with the a noob like that's newt with a B that's it's just... a speak man etymology of the word noob <laughs> uh, I am super excited for this. If this uh, if this turns out to be true, which I mean, ninety nine percent it is true. I need this to I, be true. I need this. To, I, need, I need. I it. need Games Master back in my life. Sam, you'll obviously. I be googled too young. it. There, it looks. Uh, right. <laughs> I googled happy. it. So, Games Master, for those of you in the audience who are also too young to know what it was, uh, was a video game-centric television show uh, from the late 90s, early 2000s, starring uh, the host Dominic Diamond, um, as well as uh, Patrick (laughs) Patrick Moore Moore as the Games Master, just a giant floating head, much in the way of Zordon, if you will. With a CGI, like, helmet on his face. Oh, with the, like, like Borg. Yeah, that was beautiful. Um... So they would do uh, all the latest releases, reviews and stuff for um, all the video games coming out. Uh, But they would also do sort of pop culture stuff and they would do competitions and tournaments and stuff. Um, And they had an accompanying magazine which uh, only went out of print actually about like five, six years ago or something like that. They were still doing Games Master magazine. No, is it longer than that, Sam? No, I'm shaking my head to Michelle's question. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Is is Patrick Moore still alive? No, I googled Roger. Sorry, Sorry, (laughs) man. Roger Roger (laughs) Moore is the game's best. Neither of them are alive, so the point is (laughs) Moore. The point is Moore. Oh, (laughs) point is (laughs) Moore. 
Um, so yes, um, my question to you guys is who would you love to see as the new Games Master? Um, Roger Moore. Roger Moore, is that what you're saying? You going with that, Sam? <laughs> Roger Moore. The, uh, the rumour, before you go, the rumour is that uh, Sir Patrick Stewart is supposed to be in yes, line... Sir. Okay. I think he's a he's a sir. I think mm -hmm. he never uses it, but um, I think he is a sir if I remember rightly. He did get. <laughs> it's just auto to correct it is Patrick Stewart. No, <laughs> I've, my brain's fried. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Patrick Stewart is the rumor. Um, who would you like to see as games master though? The giant floating head um, of all gaming knowledge. I mean, and I see Patrick Stewart. I worry he's a bit too thin in the face for it. I feel like yeah. The whole point of games games master is he's like a big round head yes um i will fall back on my usual i'm afraid and say greg davis because he's <laughs> make the right level of angry gruff games master that's you're fair, an idiot fair. use this I cheek mean, <laughs> i'm slightly busy i was gonna ask i was gonna ask this in our dedicated section to you later but he's got his own new show coming out anyway he's gonna be busy is and he? the reason i've been watching never mind the buzzcocks because greg davies is the host of the reboot yeah. version <gasps> Is he? Oh, yes, okay. he is the host. Um, see. See. To answer this question, they already failed to do a video games based TV show here in the UK. Uh, so there's only one man for the job. He needs to reprise his role as Games Master. Uh, so Dara O'Brien will get. I had a gig. feeling that's where you were I going. I thought you were going to say that too. Also, Dara he's would got be. The right shaped head. He does. Yes, he's an e he he's does. an egg of a man. He is an egg of a man. Uh, and he might appreciate people egg. saying he looks like the Games Master instead of the Megabus Man now. It's true. So. <laughs> It's win-win. <laughs> or, or a giant penis sausage is his other, his other known. Dara is a good shout, actually. I would, mm. I would back that. Michelle back in the it. chat says Craig Charles. I would, uh, mm. I'd pr I'd pitch Craig I'd Davis. see him presenting, I think, rather than being the games master. I'd yeah. see him being Dominic Diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not know who Dominic Diamond is? No, it just sounds like a great name that it should be used. Um, Dominic is, he's actually on, is he still on Twitch? He was on I'll Twitch. I'll see if he's, he's dead. He's retired, I think hasn't he's retired he? Because he's gone somewhere, he's, he's gone somewhere away, remote. Yeah. Once the he pandemic was over. Um, mm. He was actually, he was on We Clear stream as well. Um, we he Clear interviewed him a couple of times. And uh, yeah, he still, he does radio and some, uh, some um, uh, journalism. He, th his top three first. TV shows, according mm. to Google, uh, Games Master, mm. yeah. When Surprised. Games Attack, and <laughs> SWAT or what? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that third one needs more context, Adam. I don't, I don't have the context for you. Uh, welcome to SWAT or what? The show, uh, the show people in Wales cannot see, so I'm sorry, Jenna. Okay, uh, that explains why then. <laughs> you're not allowed to. God, no Dominic, way. I was going to bat for you. That's the only quote about it on IMDb. Sorry. <laughs> it's the only nice. thing about it nice. on IMDb. <laughs> Anyway, that's this week's gaming news. Uh, we're rooting for D um, Dara O'Brien or Greg Davis to be uh, the new games master. So hopefully that comes to fruition. And if it does, then uh, we are the new Simpsons uh, because we predict everything correctly. So there you go. So what's uh, Lab 2 is coming? <laughs> what's Lab 2 is coming? And the PlayStation Showcase in an hour and 20 minutes. So what, look out for that one too. <laughs> right, I don't, I, 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 don't have any title cards or any Speaking videos or anything. So it's really, it's really hard to, to, to transition from one thing to another with I'll, no I'll like. I'll do it for you, Andy. Ah, you're very Speaking good at this. PlayStation, Sam, that is the kind of company that makes consoles. Do you know what else <laughs> makes consoles? <laughs> Microsoft. <laughs> do you know who likes consoles? <laughs> <laughs> you know Are you, you a fan of consoles? Them? Well. <laughs> It's time for the part of the show where I show off one of the really cool things that are just about to go onto our uh, online store. Um, so this week I've got for you a very special limited edition version of the Xbox One. This is the Gears of War limited edition red. Uh, that's actually just Gears of War, the game. Have I got the wrong trailer? <laughs> Oh no, there it is! Oh, no, no. oh look at that! There you, you go. That. Come here. there you go. There you go. I'm going to chuck you up there and put you on the big screen. There we are. Um, oh. So, beautiful limited edition version of the Gears of War um, console, two terabyte, um, with the special edition controller. Um, this is going to be going. It's mint condition. It's going to be going on our website hopefully in the next week, um, or you can come into store the fall, not this weekend, but the following weekend when we are reopened, um, where you can pick this up for two hundred and nineteen ninety nine. 
Uh, it doesn't include the game. I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot to, to, to say that. The game is, <laughs> has been deleted from the hard drive. It doesn't complete any of the DLC. It doesn't Let's come with the game. Ignore, ignore everything that's on the screen at this moment in time. Everything else is fine. No, there's Sam. Hi, Sam. You, you, you cover for me. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Sam. Sam, make it okay. <laughs> uh, oh, um, wait. Uh, candle. <laughs> yeah. um, it's so a yeah. very sexy console I'll it's give it that much gorgeous. it's I mean, really pretty I know Lewis, our very own Lewis our, of Arcade is, uh, is, is very tempted by it because mm. um, it's just his, it's, it's, it's so pretty um, well designed and, uh, and gorgeous and yours were just two nineteen ninety nine. Um, but there you go that only took three seconds so that's yeah. great that's me yeah. saved more time beautiful thank you mesh for putting the link of the store twice in the chat thank you very no, much she did Just it once i did it a second time oh did you did oh you because when you were doing it it would pop up with like the link mm. but uh mesh did it and didn't pop up and then i went on my phone and then and now, now i'm actually filling back up to the five minutes we really are <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're both blue. Both your names are blue. I'm like, oh, that's very confusing. It's very confusing. Uh, <laughs> right, should we... Um, did I... I didn't know. Okay. Uh, sorry, talking to myself. Next up on the... Uh, on the, <laughs> the oh I believe god. in you, Drew. Go for it. Oh god, Come don't on. believe it. Don't believe in me. Don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm a figment of your imagination. Uh, this is the nightmare. This is, uh, dee this dee is what's happening. Dee 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 dee. Um, Sam, you've prepared two segments for us. We'll do the first one now. This is a, a little segment called Agony Bants. Can you explain to, to Jen what Agony Bants is? Alright, so can confirmation there's no transition that. It's fine. Hello, there's welcome. No, this you. is Agony <laughs> Bants. Um, <laughs> Hopefully Jen has already read about our segments in advance, uh, the ones that we're doing this week, because uh, sometimes they can be a bit convoluted. This one, pretty straightforward. Cool. <laughs> uh, big fan of the podcast, My Brother, My Brother and Me, where they try and give advice to common folk. And so what I've done <laughs> is gone on to the Am I the Asshole Reddit <laughs> and taken, I taken love the that. worst kind of situations. <laughs> and we are going to try and give some sort of advice to the people involved in those scenarios. Oh, no. so this week... Oh, yes. It is a case of, I can't even remember what I took, because I, I the only one that's sticking in my head is one that I decided not to take because it was really depressing. So <laughs> It's okay, I have it, okay. don't worry. Awesome. <laughs> um, shall I do my normal reading? I'll do my normal you reading. You can do I the think. reading yes. if you'd like. I love, I love doing my reading. So Can it be um, dramatic, please? Uh, usually it is, un unless I accidentally start with a really bad accent and then... Amazing. Uh, and then yeah, he panics and just and then and I just have to go with it. So you'll see. <clears throat> okay, let me just have a let me have a quick poke. Make sure uh, poke. Let me have a speed. quick peek. A quick poke. A quick poke. No, a quick peek. I don't a think it's appropriate. Peek. Let's <laughs> just get back to the story, please. Right? Yeah, Andrew will Andrew will read it out to the scenario posed to the internet via "Am I the asshole?" Okay. on Reddit, and there it will be up to the three of us to try and offer some sort of constructive advice. Usually, Nadia just judges everyone. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> So. I also do that when I read oh. that separate. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? Here it comes. I am 42 male. My wife is 43 female. Together we have eight kids. Jesus. <laughs> Mine are 16 male, 15 male, 13 That's female. 31. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's only measurements. It's really weird. <laughs> And I have 50-50 with their mother, who left me eight years ago. Hers are 16 male, 15 male, 13 male, 11 male, and 7 female. <laughs> that little, that youngest has got four yeah. older brothers that are going to defend the hell. <laughs> I met her in December last year. She was widowed in November. Damn. We Got engaged <laughs> of the same year, by the way. Like <laughs> we got engaged two weeks in front of all the kids who two were very ago. happy. Two weeks ago. Oh, two weeks ago in front of all the kids. <laughs> <laughs> then my kids went to their mother's house for their regular week with her. While they were there, I married my <laughs> wife. <laughs> What's it was. <laughs> For once I haven't edited the language, this is how this was written. It wasn't a big wedding, just a nice evening on the waterfront. With Elvis. Her kids were with their grandparents, and again, mine were with the mother. 
<laughs> I asked them several times during the week, like I usually do. No, asked. No, talk talked. To, I talked. Talk to Why yeah. can't I read? So what's going on? Do I need to change the colors I'm using? I think the font. I is might from, have yeah. cursed you, Drew. This is kind of my thing. I can't read on stream either. I'll be honest. This happens every time. I this happens every single one. time. I miss words. I, I I make new words up. It's it's great fun. When they came home from the mother's house. My daughter noticed I was wearing a wedding ring. No, I... Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> I'm from the house. <laughs> At that point, we told the kids we were married. Now, why am I going... What's going on? Right, camera this is, on. This is changing. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> this is so horrible. <laughs> then we had a barbecue with cake. <laughs> don't barbecue a cake. No, it's not going to taste nice. Broil it, if anything. No, don't do that either. Ah. My kids say I am the ah for not inviting them. <laughs> My wife says this is what she wanted and it's okay they weren't there. I might be the asshole though for not having my kids at my wedding. So I'd love to start with Jen, um, since you are a frequenter of this site, uh, but this is the yeah. first time you've been allowed to have your opinions known on a public forum. Uh, so let let the man have it, or the kids have it, or Firstly, stop have having it. kids. Nobody <laughs> needs that many children. It's enough. Eight. Oof. Two Oof. is enough. It's, it's too much, sorry. It's too much. Not enough. Too much. Eight is enough. I'm sorry. Nine. Nine's pushing it. Nine's going to get a nine. If you've got ten, that's a platoon, in which case you're ready to give it to a war. I bet it makes five a side really easy, though, right? Oh, yeah. no but look, true. Like, look at the age differences. Like, they had a kid a year. A poor woman was always pregnant. Yeah. No so wonder they got divorced. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> The bunnies. They're basically bunnies. I'm like, yeah, get a telly. Get a PlayStation 5. Yeah, there if, you can, if you can, can. If you can. If you can get one. Can. It's more fun. <laughs> um, I it seems like a bit of a jerky thing, thing to do. No, not have the kids at the wedding. Yeah, like, I only yeah. not tell them. What, like, they just kind of snuck off. <laughs> like, give them that option. Like, those kids, are, like, especially the teenagers, probably would have binned it off anyway and gone, I'm not going to know wedding. But, like, tell them. <laughs> Let, let them say no on their own terms is what I'm saying. It, it seems like the kind of guy that that doesn't have the best self control in, <laughs> in, in so many ways. What was your first hint? <laughs> was it the eight children? <laughs> yeah. Only three were his fault. <laughs> his fault. <laughs> his fault. His fault. Let's say it was an accident. <laughs> we could have planned it. You never know. I think three is fine. As soon as you, I mean, yeah. uh, granted, he's entered into a relationship with another woman who already has five children, which is, which is a lot. A um, lot. A lot. Yeah. Now, if they'd, if just to put this into perspective, if they'd had all their kids at their wedding, that's more people than my parents had at their wedding. So this is true. That's, true. that's a fair point. Head count at weddings is a very real thing. So to get all these kids in, it would have cost them a fortune. It's pricey. And on top of that, COVID restrictions, you got to watch out for that too, you know. Very a lot good. of them are over 12, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well, six of them. A lot of them. <laughs> Most of them. sense with this is it, if it's her wishes, like, you know, numerically, she's disappointing more people here by choosing <laughs> not so if, if the wife has chosen she doesn't want to um oh my god hey need, i believe I don't we are getting hey. it's not hello. come through well on this new software but hello fox a comedy lot of screaming raid backs <laughs> anyway, i haven't i haven't set up my alerts so continue that's fine um so <laughs> if this is her wish that she doesn't want to have a big wedding doesn't want to make a big deal out of it maybe again she's only known this gentleman for you know, <laughs> almost a year, maybe doesn't think that her kids would be accepting months, of them yeah, getting yeah. married. Mm. So, but if he's communicating with his own children throughout the week, the least you could do is mention it. Because if you don't mention <laughs> it, you are clearly hiding the fact you're getting married. <laughs> I love that it's um that it's like the it, uh, but ironically it's like they went away to their mums for the weekend and he bought a PS5. Yeah. That's that's how that's how much of a change to their life. Oh, this ring, this ring, yeah, yeah. it's just it's just nothing. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, we're married. Yeah, but um. By the way, here's some cake. Uh, <laughs> it's, barbecue, it's, barbecue. It's, it's, it's fresh off the barbie. Well, I should have missed it. What one cake do you think you could barbecue and it would improve it? 
Uh, <laughs> none? Yeah, I'm none? struggling, Sam. Like a Jaffa cake. Not no! <laughs> no, to be fair, that would improve it, because at the moment it's garbage. Oh, so, hey! we're on barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice jump back. That was a nice, that was a nice, that was a nice. Do you love a callback? <laughs> um, thank you. Hello, readers. Sorry, I can't really. Uh, we, we, uh, we, 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 we're we're doing our live talk show. Thank you for joining us. In the midst of Agony Bants, one of our uh, little <laughs> segments that we throw in on a weekly basis. There are sometimes fun little quirky games. Agony Bants is one where we give advice to the members of the Am I the Asshole Reddit. In this scenario, someone's barbecued a cake and I can't get over that. <laughs> <laughs> they've, they've made eight children and barbecued a cake. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a whole mess. Just give up. And they just accidentally got it. married. Is, is the other key point <laughs> <laughs> over the weekend? <laughs> just tripped and fell into the ring. You know, <laughs> just like fell into a church. Went just, up. I saw. Um, I do. Know. I guess. Yeah. Cool. It <laughs> popped up on my TikTok again today. Lily Allen and David Harbour's wedding. Okay. All right. He he's had like interviews where he's talked about his relationship with her daughters. Where like at the beginning of the pandemic, they were out cycling. And um, the youngest one kept going, David, dad, dad, David, um, yeah, the older yeah. one was like, he's not our dad, stop calling him dad. And she's like, then what is he? And she's like, he's kind of a stepdad. He's not a stepdad, he's just a man in our lives. So anyway, the two <laughs> decided to get married. They got married in front of Elvis, and then the four of them went to In-N-Out for cheeseburgers. Aww, and it's a very cute nice. series of photos, because Lily Allen's in like a short skirt wedding dress, and David Harbour's in like an ill fit suit, and it's like a bumbling sitcom episode. Of the <laughs> and they invited thing. their children, which yeah, differs which, from this story. Uh -huh, well, they exactly. only had two kids. There was far less <laughs> burgers than that. There was less admin with, with just the two kids. <laughs> Nice, nice. So anyway, comprehensively, tell your kids if you're getting married. Yeah, tell your kids if you're getting married. <laughs> Invite them to the bloody wedding. Just mention They're, it. They are your kids. Just mention they it. They are your kids. Just... That's the bare minimum to say Especially... on the weekend, by the way. Like, he'd tell them if he was getting a haircut. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> just, just, just put it in passing. Especially because he says that they were all happy. Because I was saying, like, maybe if, if she's concerned that her kids aren't going to be happy about the wedding, if all eight kids were like, oh, you got engaged, congratulations. Hmm. Well, then that's like... You should, you know, probably not hide it at that point. Anyway, <laughs> that was agony bands. There's other things to talk about. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Sam. Thank you for for going to that bit of Reddit that I don't want to go anywhere near. Thank you very that much. That one's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I've recently realised that my internet uh, usage is too sanitised. So, I've, sanitized. I, I'm, yeah. I don't see enough. Do you have a very wholesome algorithm, and that's um, not a euphemism? I don't. I'm not someone who like avoids interacting with negative people. But I don't see any of the negative people will be like, oh, well, there's all this discourse about this awful thing. And I'm like, what? I do, what? <laughs> um, I only see people reacting to the negative things. I don't see the negative, which, which isn't like I'm avoiding it and isn't necessarily echo chambery because I'm one of those people who's like, I will still be friends with people on Facebook that have like opinions that really differ from me because I want to know what their mindset about it is. And yeah, I still don't see anything super <laughs> awful, and I'm like, how how is everyone else seeing the worst of the worst? And you're like, oh, buddy. I love the thought that I love the thought that Sam is just so oblivious. There's 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 screaming and fires, <laughs> like he is the this is fine dog. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yes, the, this is you've got you've got even it on your This is fine. Dog is aware that there's a fire, isn't he? <laughs> I think he's aware on a level, but it doesn't mean that he's willing he's to admit it. Coffee. <laughs> what? I have I have put that. Uh, I got a pop vinyl for it, which oh, is yeah. a special edition Comic Con San Diego lockdown thing, and I just wow. put it in the fireplace. So he just sits in the. <laughs> the fire's not on. The fireplace isn't on. The fire's not on. on. Yeah, I, I would hope not. That out. <laughs> Special edition. Limited edition. Chucked it in the fire. Yeah. Yeah. For the yeah. meme. Go For the meme. I wipe my bottom with, with five pound bills. Did you not know this? <laughs> <laughs> They're made of plastic now, Andrew. That'd be very uncomfortable. <laughs> you can wash them clean easily, though. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> this is the it's time for the part of the show where we um, turn our focus on our, our special guests of the evening. Oh no. Uh, Jen, uh, <laughs> it is time for, it is time for us to, to, to delve deep inside of your psyche. Um, okay. I was, I wonder where I was going with that, weren't you? Um, and it's, therapy, time for us, should be fine. <laughs> it's time for us to find out a little bit more about Jenny Gate Master. So, Jen, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
You've got a much cooler background than us. So. You do, you do. I love your background. It's so all right, much. isn't it? It's only because I live in a world, the world's tiniest house and there's literally like a <laughs> massive bed there. <laughs> Shh, you're ruining the. Don't break the fourth <laughs> oh, sorry. wall. Sorry. This is my living room, though. It is actually my. Like, I've got those pillows for real. Yeah, fair play, fair play. Rocco's fair Modern play. Life pillows. <laughs> which I'm sure Sham. Sat Sham. <laughs> Sam has never heard of. I know, I've heard of Rocco's Modern Life and I saw a couple of episodes, but I didn't. It wasn't. It was one of those shows that was just ahead of me. So it was like a late night Nickelodeon show, so I didn't see it unless I was staying up. <laughs> Put Rocco in the Nickelodeon Smash. That's yeah. what I, mean. I feel like he's got too nervous of a temperament to be able to deal no, with No, Granny. Him. What was the Granny's name? Oh, is Rocco, oh. I'll, I'll start this interview off by saying, is Rocco's Modern Life your favorite Nickelodeon show? Oh, good question. No. No? <laughs> Are we? Are, are we going? I, I think. I think we established this. I think we established this. Ah, real monsters. Um, or is or is it? I don't know. Maybe because I do love Rocco. I love Rocco enough to have bought pillows of his face. Yeah. So like decades this is true. later. This is true. Um, I don't know. I think our real monsters has got a real like special place in my heart, though. I think it just it That's meant good. a lot at the time and still does. It's very good. Continues to. But uh, we can read it again. <laughs> <laughs> hello Ross and Miko. Hello, yeah, hello guys. Hi. Welcome sorry to the raid. No, no sorries at all. Uh, welcome and this is the, the Super Arcade Show, um, our weekly talk show on a Thursday evening from 7pm. Um, and this week we have our special guest, Genegade Master. You've hey joined Jen. us in the special interview portion of the show where we are asking <laughs> where Jen is incredibly uncomfortable and doesn't <laughs> enjoy it. I'm trying to chill you out by asking about Rocco's modern okay. life and the yeah. monsters. <laughs> We'll we'll, we'll 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 fire through this as fast as possible then. Jen, I would like to start off with how would you class yourself as a gamer? Are you more casual, more hardcore, passionate? What what's what's your what, how do you how do you feel about yourself as a gamer? I'm a bit obsessive. obsessive. I think passionate was the right word for it because it's like every time there's a new game, I see the shiny new game. I've like my pile of shame, I can't tell you how big that is. Like <laughs> if you look at my Steam list in particular, I've got hundreds of games that I've never even touched. And I start games all the time, and then I don't finish them, and then there's a new shiny game out, and I buy the new shiny game. I've got a problem. <laughs> I'm the same, I'm the same. I think uh, a lot of people will will vibe with that, um, because it's just, I think, it's the hoarder... I think yeah. it's a hoarder thing, right? And I mean, now I'm that like, it's digital, it's worse, because when I had to find storage, yeah. it was like I had to find shelving for it and all that kind of stuff. Now it's digital, I could just buy all of the games in the world. <laughs> It's fine. Saves on space. It's better it for moving. As much. It much is better for moving. Move. It's all on a tiny little memory card now, which is mad. Well, not so much if you're a retro gamer like me and you have to build a whole shop to actually keep your stuff in. But you know, it's true. Well, I want to ask yeah. actually, with, with um, you are moving somewhat soon, correct? Yes. At some point. Couple of months. Um, what's the first thing that you're planning to unpack as, as soon as you get into a new nice. new abode? What's the first thing you go for? Is it a mm. mug? Is it as simple as I need a cup of tea? What is the... No, if I, like if I'm well, being boring and practical, it's going to be the bed. So that when ah. I inevitably crash out, I can do that. But I won't lie to you, couch and PlayStation are pretty okay. high up the list. <laughs> They're like essentials. I was, I was assuming like um, PC or something like that. Like I thought the obvious thing would be like I need to work. I need to like. Yeah, but that, that that's basically <laughs> already there. I've just got to plug it in and then it's ready. That's the beauty of digital. Yeah, there you go. Um, do you remember what your first ever game was, Jen? Hmm. Yes, I would say <laughs> it was. It's definitely the one that stuck with me the hardest, as like the earliest one. There was a game. I'm going to take Sam back to a time Ooh. where there is a little console, for lack of a better word, called the ZX Spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sam's seen one of those. In I know, game. right? They it. are not just a myth, Sam. They did exist. <laughs> and we used to play games on tape, cassette tape. Oh, yeah. I've watched people play sensible soccer and nothing else. Cause... No, none of that, mate, right? <laughs> I, I played school days, right? And it was uh, school spelled with a K because they were cool. Oh. And it was D-A-Z-E for -A -Z -E. days. Yep, yep, I know the one. And the whole purpose of the game was you were a naughty schoolboy and you had to... <laughs> <laughs> I know that makes it sound dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh, uh, at my school, they had an after-school care called the Cool Kids Club, which was almost all, all spelled with Ks as well. <laughs> Oh, they, went, they went KKC, Ooh. so they kept club as C, which oh. was interesting. 
<laughs> careful, careful, <laughs> careful. Well, they were sensible about it, at least. Yeah, they worked See, out after they painted the mural. <laughs> the, um, the, the, the fact that that game sounds dirty um, doesn't mm. surprise me, considering some of the cassette tapes that I have for the Specky in Arcade. Oh. There's one called Shrieker. There's, it's co- literally just called Streaker, and the the picture on the front is a, a man in a trench coat, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to put this on. I don't Despite think I need it anymore. There's a lot of games like that. It's yeah. worth saying. There, there is. Was, there were ones you didn't want your parents to see you playing. <laughs> there was a lot of those types of tapes. There but you can't really hide it because you try to put the tape on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, are you playing that naughty game again? No. no. <laughs> Did you ever article. see that Rick Mail had one? Rick it was he? so it was it was ridiculous it was called how to be a complete b-word because <laughs> it was based off i think he had a tv show or a movie or something that was called that okay um and you were basically you were rick mail and you went around a house and you had to cause as much chaos as possible like block the toilet and like spit in people's food and stuff and <laughs> sounds like a normal day in his life yeah totally. pretty much <laughs> Good though. He was a big gamer. He did love video games a mm. lot. Um, I remember him advertising a lot of uh, Nintendo stuff. He was heavily branded in Nintendo yeah. in the early 80s. Uh, my favourite one is there's an advert of him advertising Nigel Mansell's Formula One racing. Uh, and he's, he's got the best moustache, fake moustache on. And then he goes around the house and says, oh, the whole family love the game. And his wife has got a big moustache and the kids have got a big moustache. It's yes, so good. It's I remember so good. that. I love that advert so much. Even the dog has a moustache, I think, if I remember rightly. Mm-hmm. Um, awesome. So Specky? Specky? Was that Specky. like your first console? Or? Um, yeah, I think so. Because it was like a hand-me-down from my sister, like everything else was. And then we went on to like... Those kind of we. I don't know if anyone remembers when Windows literally had four windows. <laughs> <laughs> you, you booted it up and it had four windows. Sounds like are they? Are that, is that what they are? Yeah. 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 So we had that, and I used to play a game called Hugo's House of Horrors. Oh, I played. I played all the Hugo nice. games in the end because I nice. just loved them. Hugo was that weird goblin-looking guy, wasn't he? He wasn't really. He's like yeah, a just like he's a pixel, but yeah, he was but a, a human. Yeah. yeah. Suppose. He just went to a haunted house and he had to try and rescue his girlfriend. It was very Mario if Mario was in his 20s and a wuss. I was going to say it's basically Luigi's Mansion then, isn't it? <laughs> it, is, it is Luigi's Mansion, but from like the 80s. <laughs> See, Nintendo stealing ideas since, uh, since the 80s. Terrible. Since Terrible. The 80s. Terrible. Not like Nickelodeon would do anything like that for Smash, but you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> won't hear a bad word against Daniel Phantom. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, moving on to the last couple of questions. Something more serious. Um, Jen, you are part of a big part of the LGBT community. Um, it's something that we pride ourselves on, and in, in arcade as well as as being an inclusive and open and 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 welcoming place to people of all sexualities and all manner of um, whatever however you like to refer to yourself or however you want to live your life, being as open as possible. Um, how do, how do you feel about the way the LGBT community in particular is represented in video games at the moment? I mean, is there, is there any games that you you would single out as being a positive message for others who want to sort of learn about the community and that kind of thing? I feel like in terms of gaming representation, it's getting better than it was. There's a lot more options. Like for the longest time, you couldn't even play as a woman <laughs> in it's video true. games, it's let's true. face it. Damn you, Hugo. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> And it's like, I think slowly we're getting there. There's some representation. A lot of the times it's really, really subtle. Like, you have to go looking for it. It's like what Disney does, where it's like, we will have two women kiss, but it will be in the background. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, You can look at it either way. They could just be really good pals. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But I think a lot of the sort of indie developers do a much better job at this than the sort of AAA people do. do. So ones that really come to mind are, I'd say Night in the Woods is a really good Uh, representation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a lovely game called, I won't spoil it, because it's basically it being LGBT is like the main crux of the twist. But um, there's a game called JJ Macfield and the Island of Memories, which is a game by Sweary65. Okay. It's very good. Independent game uh, auteur is what most people I guess so I, I just go looking for them <laughs> 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 apparently I haven't got there yet because I'm, I'm loving Psychonauts 2 at the moment right I backed mm. Psychonauts 2 when it was on fig as an investment opportunity um, apparently <laughs> there is representation in that as well 
It's there. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. I mean, I never played the original Second Notes. I know Sam played it what? recently for. I played it for our Patreon series yes. because um, my uh, favorite YouTube channel of all time is Funhouse, which is a uh, part of the Rooster Teeth brand, and one of their leading guys, a guy called James Willems, who was a big part of the campaign to get Psychonauts 2 because it's the mm -hmm. original is his favorite game of all time. So I was like, it's on Game Pass. I'll play it for Patreon. And um, he and his wife, Elise, are characters in the game as well. So they Aww. are a deranged, deranged couple trying to buy a child, I believe. Oh, uh, I've met them! <laughs> you've met them. So I'm they're, they're skeletons! They're, they're my favorite YouTube couple. They're adorable. That's, and um, that's... shout out to them. And rest in peace to their beautiful dog, Benson. It's, um, it's, it's funny because, I, I don't know, I feel like I should vibe with anything Tim Schafer makes. But I, mm -hmm. I, I just haven't sat down with Psychonauts at all. I liked it. It was um, true. It's so good, mate. I, it's, his his it. brand of comedy, his, like, his sense of humor, I feel like is my... It should be should be top. I mean, uh, he also made what was the Jack Black one he made? Um, uh, Brutal Legend. Brutal Legend. That's the one. I still haven't finished that either, actually. So I need oh, to go back. That. I tell you what about Brutal Legend. I mean, and it's not a reflection on the game because the game is also enjoyable. <laughs> but the best part about Brutal Legend is the menu. <laughs> really? Because it's Jack Black. It's a video of Jack Black going into a record store, and he pulls ah, out this super secret now. vinyl, and then yeah. he opens up the vinyl, and then you can click on stuff, and it goes to other bits around the. St oh, so good! Yeah. Um, I've never seen anything like it. Has nothing to do with it, anything. But when you said what was the Jack Black game, and I tried to remember the name, having never played it, my brain said Rock Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Which then, oh, the B okay. which then turned into the word Rocktopus, which I would now like to be turned into that, something. Please that make should be, Rocktopus. That should be a Rock character. Something. But that actually transfers really fast into a question I was going to ask. Okay. Um, while we're Go talking about LGBTQIA issues, etc. Uh, this past weekend, uh, Glasgow just had Mardi Gras, which yes. is one of our big pride events. Yes. And I wanted to ask you, um, again, listening to your podcast, No Straight Answers, there's a lot of conversations about things like um, pride events. I wanted to ask you, what's your favorite pride-based pun that you've seen for an event name? <laughs> wow. What? That came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> that's a hell of a question to ask with no I could ask you the, the delightful and, and very well thought out question you ask your guests where you say, what are your thoughts on pride generally? But I yeah. thought puns are a fun thing to talk about. I mean, I like a pun. Are there many pride-based puns? Maybe I'm just my I'm um, blinded by Mardi Gras that I think everything needs to be funny. <laughs> Mardi Gras is Mardi grab at glasgow just yeah. for those in the chat okay. who have no idea what's going on right. there. uh it replaced it replaced our regular pride march because our regular pride um was tainted by some bad organizers <laughs> um and so um mardi gla has become our ritual yearly um co collaboration with everyone it's really great um can you think of any puns i can't think of any. <laughs> i mean list to me some and i'll tell you what i like how about that <laughs> I'll be honest, I've got one, and we've said it enough already. Help me. <laughs> this is why um, Andrew's in charge of question Oh, there we are. Mish. Mish is. That's right, yeah. Me. Thanks, Mish. Game, Thanks. Game, gamers, don't they? They say people are gamers. There we are. That'll do. Gamers, yeah. Gamers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I am a gamer. <laughs> simple. 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 All right. Um, Jen, let's finish this up with some quick fire questions. Um, don't think, just say. Okay, oh, no. your answers, fast it's as you can. Just what gets me in Okay, I haven't prepped. That funnily enough, Sam, Sam gave you a question that we didn't prep, um, and now I'm going to give you several. <laughs> so okay, wait, this shows how well this is going to go. Um, <laughs> based off that last question. Okay, uh, favorite video game company in the world? Double fine. Uh, which do you watch more, t Twitch or TikTok? Oh, Twitch! <laughs> just Ooh. from sheer hours. <laughs> I was hard. <laughs> tits, or, tits, tits or Twitch <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> cup of tea, cup of coffee, or a cup of hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. Uh, your house is on fire. What do you grab first? PC. <laughs> After the dog is safe, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> dog. Um, <laughs> dog then PC. Okay. <laughs> favorite flavor. Favorite flavor of ice cream. Uh, chocolate. Just chocolate. Cool. No problem. Um, is it vase or vase? Vase. Vase. Okay. Cool. Um, kiss, marry, kill. Sam Jam, K Sods, We Claire. Oh God. Ha ha. Um, <laughs> marry, Claire. Mhm. Mm K 
kiss Sam Jam killed Sudsy. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Sudsy. Oh, no. I mod for Sam oh, Jam. No. I can't kill him. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's have nothing to do with my evening. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that sub is going to get cancelled. Oh no, it's safe actually, sorry, it's safe. Um, okay, and final question. Uh, if you could have anyone on No Street Answers, who would you have? Ooh. Anybody at all in the world? Well, I don't know, because it's, it's hard. <laughs> I have to ask people whether they're in the LGBT plus community, and it's it's very, very awkward. Well, you um, considered doing allies, which is why I'll pitch that Greg Davies should be the answer again. <laughs> Greg Davis can be my ally special. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Somebody, somebody mega. Who would I like? Let's put, I know, Willow mm. Smith, because oh, she's talked about easy, being easy. bi anyway, and okay, she's massive. Okay, good answer. As in, like, famous, not, you know. Patrick me. Stewart. Also. Patrick, <laughs> <I'd like> Patrick <laughs> Stewart. <laughs> <laughs> and Dad Obi. Oh, who's, um, the, who's the other fella? The one who's, who's Magneto. Yeah, Fast Patrick Stewart's best mate. Oh, you mean Ian McKellen? Sorry, Ian McKellen. Ian, Ian McKellen. There we go. Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen on. He's uh, he's he's fantastic. Yeah, I'd love the to love to the sit, just chat with him. Graham Norton with scarves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's amazing. decadent, man. Decadent. Um, Jen, thank you so much um, again you. for coming on the show. We're going to move on to. Oh wait, 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 wait. Mesh, you chucked a shout out in the. Yeah. If you need to find Jen at anywhere else, you've got your own website, jennygatemaster.com. Com. Is that right? Yes, Basically, I because I can't get my name on all of the things, so I just <laughs> thought it was easier if I made a website, and then then if it differentiates at all, you can still find it. It's all in it. one place. I know your your Twitter handle's not Genegade Mastery. Yeah, Is Mastery. That right? With a Y. With a so y I tried to end. try to be funny because so the person who's got Genegade Master on Twitch hasn't tweeted since 2014, and I'm mad. Bastard. It's not Sorry. my fault. You came up with that joke quicker than I did. All right, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, um, we're going to move on to our next piece, which is yesterday's news. Ooh. If I shuffle all our faces back over here, um, <laughs> I'd like to very quickly to uh, yes, uh, to Mission's thing of Patrick Stewart isn't gay, is he? I have been tricked for years. <laughs> <laughs> I have thought for literal years that Patrick Stewart was was also I thought an, an older gay man, mm. and in googling to find this, I found the independent article Patrick Stewart. Actor mistakenly outed as gay after congratulating Ellen Page. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shows wow. the age of this article that tricked me. Wow. Wow. No, nope. yeah, yeah, Sir Ian McKellen is gay. Yes, he hit on yes. a friend of mine in a London bar um, back in the early 2000s, or mid-2000s, I think it was. So, um, yes, very aware that Sir Ian McKellen is, is homosexual. Um, very aware. Very aware. That's I don't know. I don't know. I've, I've, I've known for a long time, but I didn't know if everyone else knew. So I was like, okay, I won't say anything. But Patrick Stewart, definitely not. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, no. I don't think so. They would make a great couple. They're like no, they're they're they're, they're <laughs> a beautiful couple. The oh, they've got such a bromance. They're really cute mm. together. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's not why. But I was, I was like, it's nice. You've got these two older gay men who are just always out and about talking about their good friendship and advocating. And I was like, this is lovely. And now it's I, I'm disappointed. Now it's been I'm ruined. I'm just sad. Yeah. Now I'm they are sad. actually just roommates. <laughs> and they were roommates. They were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is yesterday's news. Uh, this is the part of the show which is a tiny segment of what I used to do on YouTube, and hopefully we'll be able to do again in the future. Uh, I used to host um, a weekly news show um where i suited up and everything um and i would go through seven pieces of news from yesteryear from that specific date in the past um so this is like a micro version of it um and it's just to wish um mario mario the plumber with uh with the mario. best the best name in the world um a happy birthday he's uh, celebrating his 36th birthday um in just a few days he uh officially um the First Super Mario game uh, was released on. I've actually closed down all my notes. God, <laughs> you idiot! The first Super Mario game September, <laughs> September, if that helps. Yes, thank you. Thirteen September, nineteen eighty-five. In, in what country, Jen? Uh, Japan. Japan. Wow, uh, you guys I know was, so much more. I thought it was Brazil <laughs> and Patrick Stewart was on stage. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you very much. Um, so yes, the first Super Mario game was released in Japan on the 13th of September, 1985. Um, and like spawned a huge, huge global um, like uh, gaming mammoth um, that is 
Mario Mario. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm so behind. I was too busy laughing at Sarie McKellen and stuff. I forgot to do this bit. There it is. There's some adverts Aww. in the background that I was going to have They're very nice. Um, so these are original Japanese adverts, actually, from um, from the mid-80s. <laughs> advertising Mario. There's some really weird, weird, creepy things in here. But I love it so much. Um, chuck on this one. That's no, Jen. Sorry, Jen. It's me. I'm <laughs> Mario. Um, look at that Famicom look cartridge. Look at that. It's beautiful. So is this not, but this is, you've said in the notes, Andy, the first sequel to the original Mario Bros game. <laughs> Indeed. So, um, Super Mario Bros, uh, sorry, Super Mario was a sequel to Mario Bros, which was originally released in 1983. Mm. Um, but that was not the side, <laughs> side-scrolling platformer that you know. <laughs> it was a single screen with um, different levels that you battled against enemies and with uh, pipes at the sides. Um, so it's not the it's not the game series as it became known. Um, famously, oh, some Mario ice cream, anyone? Mm, How delicious. much is that rice cake worth these days? That's what oh, I want to know. It's it's probably it's is it still good to go though? I wouldn't <laughs> touch <laughs> that honestly. I wouldn't eat I'd, it. I'd I would rather it. <laughs> I would rather eat a, a Jaffa cake donut or a, a donut than one of those two. Oh, honest. I don't know. You're asking a bit much. <laughs> do, do you want some donuts? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll take a thirty-year-old. Rice cake instead, thanks. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Um, can you clarify, I don't hate the donut. I'm no. just non-plastic. You just made a, made a whole TikTok really about it. I was you know. really excited to wonder like, why our donut love. And you can find out that <laughs> only one of us loves the donut. Um, you've put here, Andy, it was uh, released in some form on every single Nintendo console or handheld except the N64. That is correct. Um, so you can, you can play the game on any Nintendo console except ah, for the right, n64 okay. so it's the built in game. yeah hmm. so the original original game as it was designed was released on the nes um it came back what? in the, in the snes era for the for the uh, on the super mario all-stars cartridge um there was then released on a game boy uh there was a dx version a color version for the game boy color uh there was a nes classic cartridge which i think was only released in japan but you could get an american version on the game boy advance um it was a hidden game in animal crossing on the gamecube uh, and then New Super Mario yeah. Brothers obviously existed, and then from the Wii and there on, the digital version of the game existed on the Virtual Console. What was so that advert for? Yeah, that? right. I know. <laughs> I know, right? Was that the oh, British one it? where they're like the Virtual? tribal guys? Yeah, yeah, it was really weird. Um, basically, it's like an Indiana Jones type dude who was cha getting challenged by the um, village or the yeah the village um, champion. That's what it was, yeah. Oh look, Ruffles, Doritos, Cheetos. Is this an ad for the game? What? Yeah. Well, it's a what? Scratch 3. It was a special mm. promotion they did with Hostess at the oh, time. Oh. But there you I go. I their donuts. That was, um, that was some old um, adverts from Mario. But happy birthday, Mario. 36 years um, of jumping on things. I think my, my, my favourite fact about Mario is that the level design for World 1-1 one, one is referred to in game design as World 1-1. One, one. It's the perfect first level design because it doesn't there's no tutorial for super mario mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you literally learn the game as you go through the first world because yeah. it progressively gets harder and harder teaching you to jump up one block jump up multiple blocks kill one enemy kill multiple enemies jump over gaps and use pipes so it is the master class in level design um and it's something that's taught to all video game nerds forever i don't like being older than mario though <laughs> kind of angry i'm happy that i'm the same age as mario that <laughs> makes me happy i'm also 36 so that's good for me mm, it's not a I fun am... time for me <laughs> sorry jen am i the same age as the dubbed version of Yu-Gi-Oh? is that what <laughs> That's a claim. You're the same That's age as our real monsters. That's a oh. claim. claim and a half. <laughs> that is a claim and a half. Uh, right, okay. Um, moving on to the final part of the show, guys. It's time for Rush Man More! I'm the same age as you. Here. You're the same age as <laughs> you. Oh, oh, dear God. That is something. I'm the same age as Channel 4, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> If I remember rightly. That's I wanna, before we jump into Rush Memoir, I did yes, mention sir. it earlier, but I want Jen's thoughts on Greg Davies hosting the new Nevermind the Buzzcocks. I will watch that man in anything, so I am delighted. Weirdly, I'm going to see I'm Simon Amstel. I'm in Samsel. I'm in Samsel. <laughs> perform live very shortly. 
he is another it's one of those individuals that in the latter part of his career has become a wonderful beacon of someone that has come out as a member of the alphabet mafia and not made that like the distinct part of his <laughs> online persona but he's done a lot to sort of be like this was my journey to get to this stage mm. in my life doing he's done like ayahuasca and... and all sorts of stuff he's done mental was, things for yeah. himself um very interesting person and mm -hmm. I, I actually think his stand-up was quite quite cool the friend i'm going with is a little bit in love with him so mm, that, they nearly that, had a yeah. thing once in that they could have had a thing but my friend was too wussy to do anything about it Aww. so they've never done a thing much like Aww. the story i've got about dick and dom but that's a whole other thing <laughs> that's a whole other thing <laughs> Diddy, dick, and dom. dick and dom is a, just as a just as a play on words still weirds me out man I love those guys. Why? I don't know. It just it's sounds, literally it sounds, their names, Drew. It sounds so dirty. Richard you McCourt, Dominic. I know. Quinn. I know. I love literally them. Literally their names. Literally their names. But it's so childish, that, and they are so childish that it always makes me think. They're that. kids presenters. What do you? Think? I don't know. Every time I hear somebody go, <laughs> Dick and Dom. Not use night. Dick and Dom. I'm like, what have you? What have you I been doing? Dom for don't your tell. I'm no, the I Dom to that. your Dick, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've ruined Dick and Dom for everyone forever. There you go. There you, you never go. ruin him for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Sam, what the f is Rush Mountmore? Love Rush Mountmore. Uh, the best pun I've ever come up with for <laughs> the game. Uh, Rush Mountmore is literally where we present each other with a topic, and that particular individual then has exactly 30 seconds <laughs> to come up with their top four for that topic. It can be as simple as your favorite ice cream flavor, um, your favourite members of your family. Uh, Jonas. <laughs> Jonas. Like any, calling it now, Jonas. <laughs> it can be anything along those lines, or it can be something way more off-piece, like uh, toppings for bagels. I don't know. Just anything you come up with that applies to the person that you are asking it of. I've got Andrew. Andrew has Jen, right? And Jen is asking me something. So <laughs> I'll go first to show how it's done. And we do it real bush league here, so... I've got the timer on you my phone. You've got the timer? <laughs> this is I don't, the best I don't, part of it. I, I don't know I how to put a timer on this, this whole thing yet. So so, that's not integrated. I absolutely forgot. I need to move the microphone. Microphone, yes. I sir. absolutely <laughs> forgot to come up with one for Andy because I was so busy enjoying every episode that I could of No Straight Answers. Oh, Jesus. Right now. I'm doing beginning to look things. like plug, 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 plug. <laughs> I'm doing it. Um... So I only came up with one right now, but I think it's appropriate. Andrew, you have 30 seconds to give me your top four in no particular order of children's television presenters. Oh, <laughs> duos as ones. What? Um, so Dick and Dom count as one. Uh, Anna Dick. Uh, the, nah, not so much now, but like when I was growing up, fine. Uh, wonky donkey, sorry. Um, <laughs> Pat Sharp, because I loved Funhouse yeah. when I was a kid as well. Um, uh, they don't oh, just need to be kids presenters for you, they could be for other people also. God, I know, I can't think of anything. Um, I mean, I watched a lot of Crystal Meads when I was a kid, so Richard O'Brien. Um, and, uh, Ed Tudor Pro. Oh. Oh, just, just, just for the other, other. What was the Chris last one? Ed Tudor Pool for Crystal Maze as well, because oh, Ed, okay. Ed was amazing. That's cheating. It's not cheating! Got you two didn't... Crystal Maze presenters. <laughs> I love Crystal Maze so much. I you also love Crystal Maze, but that's cheating. <laughs> You Sorry, the diamond master. Oh, Dominic. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, I guess. I would I have guess, put Gaz so. Top in there. I think. Um, well, maybe maybe okay. we'll have to get you on another time <laughs> at a later date, Jen, and we can ask how you the to. same question. Oh, how, oh God, how to? <gasps> how to? Dang it! It was it was um, what's her face from Countdown originally, right? And then it's she left. Of yeah, Vorderman was originally in How To, and then she left, is that right? Was she? I think she was. She was one of the original three presenters. Mm. Um, I can't remember who else was in it, apart from Gaston. I'll be honest, I don't know what show you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I grew up with Basil Bush. It's so nerdy. <laughs> how To was literally an, a video game nerdy scientific it. show. It, so it was much. incredible. I used to watch a lot of Tomorrow, Tomorrow's World as well with mm. Philippa Forrester. Um, she was the later on presenter not early you said that then like i remember nothing of the shows but mm. philip forster was on it so. <laughs> also robot wars um going back to going back to um craig david as you said earlier craig Sam, david anyway um right who that means it's me and yes. i've got jen okay. all right all right jen are you ready 
30 seconds yes. prepped. Here we yes. go. I would like your... I mean, and I'm assuming you've played all of them, or if not most of them. Uh, I would like your four, top four in no particular order, um, of Danganronpa games. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, one, three, Ultra Despair Girls, <laughs> and maybe two? That is the okay. fastest anyone's answered wow. the top four in this wow. game. Admittedly, it's usually just the arcade staff, and we're Muppets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, I felt like you might have confused yourself because you went one, three. <laughs> <laughs> because he said in no particular order, Mon, but my brain was going, do it in a particular do it, order. Do it from best to worst. Do it from do best, it from to, best worst. to worst. Yes, that's so the game. That's, that's part one, of the game. Three, and then one, three. One, three. Ultra Spare Girls. And then two. two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect! Perfect! I love it. I love that it. That was a very it. kind one, though, Drew. So I was like... trying to. I was trying to be nice. I mean, it's your first time. Next time you're on, I will make it very, very difficult. Um, F favorite Monokumas, because I can't remember <laughs> the names of any of them apart from him and Monomi. That's Just it. name any of the Monokumas. <laughs> like... <laughs> the purple one. <laughs> um. Awesome. That, ladies and gentlemen, has been this week's Super Arcade Show. Uh, I didn't get the chance to ask anybody some questions, so, well, I have asked me yet. four the top questions. Four in no particular do you want to do Oh, Sam? crap! That would also help. <laughs> I, this is I'm not just, the first... I was just going to leave it and then <laughs> just make him feel bad. Don't let him get away with that. No, this no. is not I the first time what, I've done I this. I see what Jen's come up with, because there was great debate. Oh, my God. I was trying to point out to Andy uh, that... I, I don't know. Maybe it make more sense for me to be asking you a question rather than you asking me. Because again, this is the first time we've ever interacted. I had two options, and mm. depending on how friendly I, I was feeling. Do you have a timer? Oh, oh yes, I can. I do. I got you. I got you. Someone needs their phone to just point it at their camera. <laughs> <laughs> again, we've been time yourself. <laughs> we well, I can't because it's um, we've been doing this game since before we were any good at Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> So this is one of the lingering things that's just sort of it's rolled part of over. Charm. Yeah. I can't believe okay. you haven't got the Taskmaster one. Oh. Because the Taskmaster one is that. Ooh. Oh. That was fast. Everyone should this have the Taskmaster. Um, Shack Wheel O'Neill are our two longest running games, <laughs> which will also to introduce you to Shack Wheel O'Neill at some point. Oh, Some please. Point. Some time. Please do. Okay. Um, Jen, okay, whenever ready? you are ready. Please give me, Sam, your top four. Dating sites. Well, <laughs> <laughs> as a it's lovely to meet you, Jen. Um, I've been <laughs> in a relationship now for five years. So, um, Still have opinions. I'm, Let's I'm go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for farmers only. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bumble, because women should have the option to be forward if they'd like to. Uh, Christian mingle. <laughs> and, uh, Omegle, because you'll never know who you are. That's, That's outstanding. It, time. Time. Outstanding work. I, well um, I'm disappointed that you didn't uh, see the uniform one, because, you know, people love uniforms. And, oh, is that, uh, like, what is it? Uniform is dating. Oh, I can't uniform remember what dating? Uniform That's dating, like, I think it's called, yeah. I'm a police officer. <laughs> Would you like to date someone with a police officer's uniform? <laughs> and Did it's not, like it's not really... <laughs> but then it's not really a police officer; it's just somebody who happens to own a really crap police officer. Right? No, I think it's. I think it's like your job is part, like you need to be the job. You need to like, be like verified. <laughs> need, yeah, like, Hi, I am a real nurse. <laughs> I, uh, it's you see, you're, loud, you, though. you see, you're an EMT. How many lives have you actually saved? <laughs> oh my! Oh, they just set fire at your front door. Like, go, put it out. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like that thing on Disco Elysium where he's marked off how many, many people he's killed on a thing. It's, yeah. it's, you've got to do that. I actually really like that you asked me that question. The only dating site uh, I, have, I have Jenny genuine ex Jenny. <laughs> Jenny experience. Yep. Any Jenny experience. No, well. Any genuine experience with was, um, I did have Tinder when I was younger, but it was when I was um, 16. And. I got Tinder, and then three weeks later was when they increased the age cap to 18, and so I got kicked off of it. And, uh, I was like, that's fair, I, I, it's fine. And then by the time I was 18, I had a girlfriend I have had for a long time. Shout out uh, to Dia. Aww. <laughs> Miss Dia. Um, she's, she's a wee working for Kanye now, it's fine. She is working for Kanye. 
She actually is. <laughs> it's, sc <laughs> it's scary. Not, uh, well, not that much anymore. I've still got my thing. Your are you allowed to? Are you allowed to say you've got the thing now? Oh uh, yeah, because it's 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 been released. They had the NDA. Oh, the, 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 the thing. Yeah, yeah the album six thousand sales before he even said anything about it. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, I'm technically a trial person, but um, I don't have any. Um, Do you like it? I I like it. It's not. I'm not smart enough for it, and I'm not musically. <laughs> I think that was my concern. I was like, if you're talented, I bet you can do something really cool with this. But I would just if mainly like, put the volume up and down. It's for someone like Kanye, who's mm. like an inner city kid who will be on the, the the bus all the time, and is really smart and really wants to do music and wants to practice and learn production, but doesn't have access to a full suite. So mm. it's like, oh. Oh, Sam! Ready? Kanye shut I'm... him down, quick! He's not Sam? supposed to be talking about it. Oh, you 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 froze, Sam. Froze. Really <laughs> Everyone froze for me. Oh, um, okay, you're yes, back. So you're good. It's you're it's good. cool. I I can talk about it. Um, I've not been able to do any of the cool changes to it because it's a uh, USB C, and my PC and laptop both don't have USB C plugs, so I had to go and buy a USB C <laughs> USB standard. Nice. Anyway, nice. that's the Sam talk. Love an adapter. I know. I love his, adapter talk. I love Jen's now interviewing Sam uh, about <laughs> <laughs> about about your tenuous link to Kanye. It's um, good, good to chat. I have a tenuous link this. to lots. My my dad used to go to the same gym as Gordon Brown, and um, <laughs> would tell me that um, the longer he saw Gordon Brown in the gym um, on the treadmill, the further it got into his term as prime minister, he looked older and greyer every time my dad happens. saw him. Yeah, like it always he just happens, got progressively. Yeah. And um, Gordon Brown also has the same favourite chip shop as my granddad's. Just to have. Uh, nice. Thanks, Cody. God bless. Anyway, I'm going to nice. finish this wonderful stream with a donut. <laughs> just the taunt, Jen. Oh dear. <laughs> So, um, Sam will be making a um, retort. You should have warned me, I've got one downstairs. <laughs> a a, a, a retic tort um, later on, which is going to be his a video. A retic tort! A retic tort. I love that. Um, which is the opposite of. Uh, you watch more retic tort or tic tic? <laughs> 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 uh, which will be um, telling you how great um, the Jaffa Cake Donuts are on our TikTok, Arcade's TikTok channel. Um, but. Before we go, um, I'll, I'll, Jen, I'll for one last time, can they you tell? Are actually, drier than I remember. Can you tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell everybody I'm where we can it. where we can find you, Jen, and, well, and what you're what you're up to lately. Very kindly on the stream. Um, I mainly do a lot of Twitch stuff. twitchtv slash master where we muck around and play games. And I've I've got a bit of ADHD, so I quite frequently skip from one game to the next. I'm very bad at finishing games on stream. But I think Psychonauts is going to beat the trend. Um, I run a podcast called No Straight Answers. We've just had our season one finale with Trista Bites, and she was nice. amazing. Nice. So that's on all your good podcasty places. And then literally any social stuff is on this website here, which is jennagamemaster.com. Can I ask? I love the name. I love um, going back to podcasts, which I've plugged a lot, but I would love to say I love the name of the podcast as well. <laughs> I love the intro song. I love your like presentation and questioning style. Like, genuinely. I also like a pun, see? So I spent a long time thinking well, about the title for that. that's why I thought you the perfect person to ask about LGBT <laughs> puns. So that was dead all right. Um, oh, but, what's your favourite LGBT pun? No straight answers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I love the name as well. Sorry, I ruined that for you. <laughs> No, it was a great end to the one for podcast. Um, so, he set me up and I, it was like he stood like, up for a high five and the, I just ignored it. And just just, just stood, there with, stood there with the bat and went, what? <laughs> did, you, did you just throw something at me? <laughs> You're not invited to be part of the RC. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you going to say that to my face when I'm in Glasgow? You I'd love to... I was about to say I'd love to say anything to your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be real friends and not have an Okay. <laughs> this has gone really weird, guys. But uh, um, no, weird is my comfy space, so it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I love. I would love to meet you when you make the move up to Glasgow. Oh. And you are more than welcome to join to join any arcade sports team that we do actually make. <laughs> well, we um, have a discussion in the arcade anime club this week about starting a volleyball team, and Ooh. none of us know the rules, so I don't. <laughs> 
What we need to do is we need to go visit Bonjour, which is the, the new gay bar just up the street from Arcade. Okay. Um, and I've been dying to go and see what it's like inside because um, I see <laughs> people asking and talking about it. And there's lines outside and I'm like, oh, oh. I Did need you to need a gay out. chaperone, Drew? Is no, <laughs> no. It's just, it's just probably by the time you get up here, I'll be, I'll be confident to go into a place where I don't need to wear a mask. And I'll so, look yeah. after you. It's all right. I um I feel you. the need to tell the story again because <laughs> it's it's uh, about my cousin who is a member of the Alphabet Mafia uh, and also the word bonjour, which is we took him on his first ever plane flight years ago to France and he was quite good at French at the time. But we basically said, okay, when you go up to the passport security guys, just just answer their questions and don't do anything out of you know that will make them nervous. So they go up and the guy says bonjour and my cousin goes bonjour. <laughs> and we're all going no. No, no, not good, not good. You so tried. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. guys, thank you, Jen, so much for being on the show. Uh, Sam, thank, thank you, you for letting me on. Uh, Rain no, and chaos. Anytime. Um, hopefully, um, yes. Last time. Week. This is a good it's start. Such a good time. <laughs> So this is a good start um, to the new format and thank you so much again. Um, I'm going to raid everybody over to the loveliest of nearly men. Uh, they are doing their bi-weekly uh, podcast um, over on their channel right now. So they're chatting about Ghost of Tsushima, I think, right now. Um, so I'm going to chat. Why are you both giggling? I'm, not, I'm smiling because I love the nearly men. I don't know why Sam's laughing. Sam's giggling away. Is it the bi-weekly? Is it, it bi-weekly? <laughs> I was going to say we're pushing over to another LGBT friendly <laughs> podcast if it's bi weekly. <laughs> oh dear. See, does bi weekly mean they do it twice a week or once every two know, weeks? Right? Though, you know, I what hate is that? Because it means Why? both. I know. Mental. Just anyway. tell me. <laughs> is it twice a week or is it every other week? Fine. You have Guys. To one. It can't be both. It's not be like good. Me. Give the newly men all your love. Go follow Jen if you can, please. Um, and I cannot wait to, to see Jen in real life and, and hang yeah. out um, as proper best buds forever. Um, so, Sam, I'll speak to you soon. Uh, everyone be good, and I'll see you all later. Everyone say bye! Bye! bye.